Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, my name is Sarah Shinman, and I grew up in a Christian home, of, and I have three older siblings who all attended Horizon College, actually. Um, and I grew up attending a very small eight-person church in my hometown of Weston, Saskatchewan. I was also the only one under 50 in that church, so I had a lot of wisdom given to me a lot of the time. I had lots of Christian influences around me, but I wasn't, it was, wasn't until I was 14 when I actually accepted Christ into my life, mostly because I was stubborn. I didn't like the idea of a God I couldn't see, and he somehow had a reason to boss me around and tell me what I could and couldn't do, and I just didn't like that idea. So I rebelled against the idea of God, and I rebelled against anyone who tried to pray for me or speak life into me. I was like, no, I don't care. I don't want that. Um, but yeah, when I was 14, I had a really hard time with um, finding identity. I was chasing identity in a lot of things, um, and it just didn't really fit properly in my life. Um, but then Jesus came in when I was 14 and at a really low spot in my life. And I, later that year, because I was still stubborn, I gave my life to Christ. Since then, I have done lots of fun, adventurous things with Jesus, including going on a program called Street Invaders, where I went and I told people that I didn't know about Jesus, which pushed me very hard. Um, and then I attended and then eventually graduated from Horizon College. During my time at Horizon, I started volunteering at Grove Youth here. And that is really just such a blessing in my life. It has been one of the best experiences in my life. And through that time, I've also gotten um, to participate on Source Ask, walk with a student who's been in and out of the hospital, and I've also gotten to walk with two small groups, one that I've walked with four years with, and the other I've walked just a little bit with, but who I love dearly. A passage that I have come to throughout my time as a Christian is Micah 6, 8, and it says, Know, O people, the Lord has told you what is good and what he requires of you. Do what is right, to love mercy and walk humbly with your God. I want to become a member of Forest Grove Community Church because I've really been blessed by this community in having a safe place where I could ask questions and wrestle out my thoughts with people who loved me and cared for me. And I want to do that for someone else. I want to help build a community between different generations and those who are new to this church, but also with those who are new to the idea of a church. Hello, my name is Connor Shinman, and as you can notice by the same last name, uh, or as you may have inferred, we're married. Uh, I consider myself the lucky one of the two. I married up. Uh, my name is Connor Shinman. I have gone to church my whole life, and I cannot remember a time in my life when I did not know Jesus. Christianity has always been a part of my life, and my family have helped to keep it important in my life as I was growing up. When I was in high school, though, I began attending a senior high program at my church, and that's where Jesus really caught my attention. I learned to make my relationship with Jesus my own, and more than something that was just something that I did with my family. Uh, in senior high and in high school, I became involved with a group of people my age who were also passionate about faith and Jesus, and I found that very inspiring. I was baptized by my youth pastor in June of 2017, which is just a few weeks before my high school graduation. I also found a strong community of Jesus followers to inspire and challenge me when I attended Horizon Bible College for three years, uh, and for many years before and after high school and college. Uh, I was also attending many Bible studies that were key in solidifying my faith in Jesus, and I've also found many, many serving opportunities that helped me find a practical, to, practical way to live out the faith that I believe in. Here at Grove, I just finished my fourth year serving as a senior high leader for Grove Youth. 
uh, and serving there has been incredibly inspiring and beneficial for me. I often hear that we are doomed because of the next generation and what they're bringing to the table. But as someone who interacts with that next generation on a weekly basis, I don't see doom and gloom. I see hope and I see exciting things. Seeing the passion for Jesus in young people inspires me greatly and it does give me abundant hope for the future. A Bible verse that has been resonating with me for quite some time is John 10.10, which says a thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I, Jesus, have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. If we're honest, the world in the past few years has felt weird, strange and scary, but I find a lot of comfort in knowing that there's a God who cares about me and has a plan for abundant life in my future. I'm here today to become a member of this church because I want to show my commitment to this community and I want to use my voice to contribute in discussions and decisions, especially in this time of transition.